In today's video, I'm going to give you a tour of my very affordable beachfront condo here in Jiang Tian, Pattaya Beach, Thailand. So let's go. What is going on YouTube? Greetings from beautiful Thailand. I am here at my apartment in central Pattaya and today I'm moving over to Jam Tian. I want to be closer to the beach. I want a more laid back beachfront style lifestyle. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to head over there and I'll give you a tour of that apartment. I've actually really loved living here in central Pattaya. You have like everything at your fingertips here. You have as many restaurants, as much street food as you want. There's some great malls here. If you're into the bar scene, when the bar is open, you can just walk right out the door and be at all the bars. But it's a little bit too busy for me. I'm looking for more of a barefoot beach style type of place. And so I found a place like that. It's at the end of Beach Road in Jam Tien. And I'm really excited to share this condo I found over there. So let's head over that way. All right, so before I show you the inside of my building, which is right behind me here, I wanted to show you one of the biggest reasons I rented this place. So there is this just massive beach wall. It goes miles down that way and miles down that way. So I just envisioned myself out here going for a jog early in the morning. And then in the evening, right now it's nice and windy. You got the breeze coming up the ocean. You got the sun setting. Just walking down here, getting some street food. There's all kinds of street food vendors as you move up and down the beach here. There's all kinds of families just chilling on the beach. It has a much different vibe than where I was before. So I was in Pattaya Central before. Now I'm in, I'm still in Pattaya Beach, but I'm in Jam Tien. And I'm at the very end of Jam Tien Beach Road. So. Yeah, it's just such a different vibe. It's much more laid back here, more barefoot beach vibe, which is what I enjoy. So let's get inside the apartment before this sunset happens and maybe we can capture it from the, uh, from the condo. I'll show you the two pools. There's one on the lower level and then one on, a, on the fourth level, I believe. There's also a gym, a sauna, an entertainment room that I'll show you. And then we'll jump up and I'll show you the apartment. All right, let's go. All right, so here's the first pool. This one's on the very bottom level. It's like a little kiddie pool right here. It's not a hot tub. You don't want a hot tub in, in Thailand. You don't see them very often. And then you have sort of an infinity pool here as well. Looks Almost looks like the, the pool drops off into the ocean, but you got the bushes there. Got a bunch of really good seating. That's one thing when you rent a place in Thailand that I've noticed is many times nobody uses the pools. So you have the pools to yourself or with very few other people often. So this is kind of cool to have this pool here. And then you'll see back here, this is the shorter building. And then there's the taller building in the back. I live in the taller building. You have a little outdoor shower here so you can wash yourself off before and after. Got the little uh, Buddhist shrine that's common in front of almost every building. But let's go up and take a look at the other pool. Okay, so this is the fourth floor over here is the infinity pool and some other things. I'll show you that in a second. But if you get out of the elevator and go the other way towards the mountains and the rainforest, you've got this really cool little seating area up here. You can just you know, chill with friends. It's really windy up here. So it's nice and cool, even for Thailand. And you're nice and shaded back here as well. So that's pretty cool. And there's more of a seating area over that way. That's a nice little Benny. This little area has an entertainment center, a steam room, and all kinds of other little things. I'll show you that here. You can feel that wind coming through someone in there swimming right now but over this way is the entertainment room so <laughs> it has all the entertainment stuff any bachelor would want in his house <laughs> got the foosball table if you like foosball smash that thumbs up button pool table look at it's all set up and ready to go you can see the sun's going down right now so 
It's kind of bright in here, but that's kind of cool. Just come in here, play a game of pool. Pretty cool. All right, let's go see the second pool in this building. It's kind of a little small infinity pool. It's long. There's actually a guy out here swimming laps right now, so I don't want to disturb him too bad. But I'll kind of show you here. Take off my shoes. We'll walk out this, we'll weigh it out. So you can kind of see how the pool, yeah. So you just, you know, chill here. And watch the sunset. Hopefully it's not too bright. You can see the sun's getting ready to set over there. Probably about another half an hour. Whew. All right, and then there's, as you can see, a rooftop garden. Well, let's check that out. A little seating area right here. Sit here and overlooks the ocean that way. You guys know Mr. Mitch, he's actually in this same building. Oh look, here's a good view of the infinity pool. He's in the same building and he looks that way, so he's got an even better view than me, I think. It's uh, He looks towards Cambodia and I look towards Pattaya Beach, which you'll see in a minute when I give you a tour of my apartment. And then you've got this nice little garden area up here. Bunch of seating areas just like in the back. You see here you walk across this little bridge. Right there's the infinity pool. When you're in the pool, it almost looks like the ocean connects to the pool. It's really cool. And then you got this little area here to come and just chill. It looks like there'd be putt-putt golf here, but there isn't. <laughs> so hopefully it's not too washed out from the sun. It's a nice, nice visual over here with the sunset coming. But you can see there's the other pool that we just went to down there. And there's the ocean. There's the sun getting ready to set. Over there is the island of Kolan from that video I did with Chocolate Man in Thailand. And then here's the building. <laughs> 48 floors. I'm on the 36th floor. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what floor Mr. Mitch is on, <laughs> but it's higher than mine. But yeah, how cool is that? All right, <laughs> let's head up to the apartment and take a look. All right, let's go in and check out the place. It's actually sunset right now, so hopefully the light is good in here. You can see there's plenty of natural light. You got all these windows. But let me turn around here and we'll start the tour. As if you're entering the door here, we've got kind of this Japanese motif over here with the bonsai tree. Kind of reminds me of Karate Kid <laughs> or something like that. And this is the kitchen. So you've got a typical Thai style refrigerator. It's kind of small by Western standards. But for a guy like me that only puts drinks and maybe some fruit in it, no big deal. The great thing about Thailand is you can eat out every single meal. It's actually cheaper to eat out than to buy food and make it yourself. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but it's true. So there is no oven here, which doesn't bother me at all because I don't plan on doing any baking. There is a two burner stove here if I wanted to cook something in a microwave. In my last place, I did not use the microwave at all. It's, you know, every meal is two or three dollars. It's an amazing meal. So there's no reason to save leftovers and have to reheat something. You can just go get it fresh. So this is kind of common in Thai households. The washing machine will be in the kitchen. And in most Asian countries, there is no dryer, just a washing machine. And people dry their stuff outside. You'll see there's a drying rack out there, but we'll see that in a moment. There's a little dining area here and you can actually extend it. So it, it'll come out even farther than that. So if you need that space, you've got it. And then we've got the living room here, kind of an Ikea setup. Looks like a leather couch, but I'm pretty sure that's fake leather. But you know, whatever. There's a lot of nice rugs in here too, which I really appreciate. A lot of these Airbnbs don't have rugs and I really appreciate a good rug. Uh, this one actually came with Netflix installed on it and whoever owns this place, their account. So I figured I'd just throw that on for a little bit of background beauty. 
Uh, it comes with Wi-Fi as well. Wi-Fi is included. It's 50 down, 30 up, so pretty good. All right, let's swing around here. We'll come back out here in a second. Let's go check out the bedroom. One thing you'll notice here, this wall right here slides all the way across and um, basically breaks it up into two rooms. The reason for that is there are two ACs in here. There's one here and there's one over here. So if you only wanna use one, save electricity, uh, you can close it off and whichever room you're in, you can turn that AC on and like I mentioned, save some electricity. All right, here's the bedroom. Nice big bed. Got the natural light coming in through here. You even got a picture of New York. You can actually see where I used to live. I used to live right about there in Hell's Kitchen. Kind of cool. And all the windows in here open, and I'm on the 36th floor. So it's pretty cool up here with the ocean breeze, and you can open up all of these windows. And I'll show you the sliding glass door in a moment that you can open up. But you'll see from the bed, you have this just, you know, amazing view laying in the bed. All right, let me show you this here real quick. This is one of my favorite little spots here. I've been sitting on this thing like constantly today. So you can sit here and just watch the sunset. Uh, the clouds are kind of hiding the sun. It's actually sunset right now, but you can just sit here and relax, you know, watch people out there riding around on jet skis. It's pretty awesome. But look how beautiful that is. That island over there, that's the video I shot with Chocolate Man on the island of Kolan. That's Kolan. So I got an amazing view of Kolan and I can see the sunset set every day by Kolan. That's pretty awesome. All right, we'll come back to that. Let me show you the bathroom here. So this isn't the actual Airbnb I rented. They had some issues with it. So they put me in another one. If you remember the pictures I showed the shower was clear so you could kind of see it from the bed this one has a frosted shower so you know a little bit of privacy it's only me in here so i don't really care but back here there's no like traditional closet but this is good enough for me got the unbound moreno hanging up there this looks like a little vanity or something um, i'll just you know set my underwear and socks there probably all right here's the shower I don't need a bathtub. I prefer just a rainfall shower enclosure like this. This is perfect. If I ever build a place in the US, I'm gonna steal ideas from Asia. I just prefer Asian style bathrooms. Got a little sink here and a medicine cabinet that opens up. And here is the bathroom. I mean, nothing really to show here. Everyone likes when I say bum gun. So there's a bum gun over there. I don't know why we don't have these in the US. We should. And come back this way, you'll see Unbound Moreno. <laughs> well, let's go, let's check out the uh, balcony here. So what's really cool about this balcony is you can open it all the way up. I mentioned you can open up all the windows, but you can open this thing up all the way. And you can open it up either way all the way too, which is kind of cool. So let me back up and show you that. So you've just got this huge, you know, huge view and all the air coming through especially when you have all these windows open you get really good airflow through here but let's walk out here and check this out so we're right at we're right after sunset actually so you'll see over here is the city of Patia. that's where i lived before my apartment is somewhere over there you can actually see the ocean over there uh, it's probably not picking it up that well on this camera but that's all ocean over there and then it comes around this corner here and then this is Jam Tien Beach Road and then you've got just this amazing amazing view of Kolan over there sunsets every single day all kinds of like beach style eateries down there and then along the beach road are all kinds of street food vendors which is also really cool so so I'm pretty happy, <laughs> obviously. So this place was $510 um, a month for two months, so $1,020. That includes Wi-Fi and water. The only thing I have to pay for is electricity. It'll probably be somewhere around $40 to $50 for the month. So about, what, $530, $535 a month, something like that. So 
that's pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, if you wanted to rent this place long term for six to 12 months, you could rent this unit for $360 a month plus electricity, somewhere between you know $25 and $50 a month. So that's pretty freaking awesome if you ask me. So what do you think? Did I get a good deal here? Could you stay here, relax in this little tiny apartment with this ocean view behind you? Or would you need something bigger? Or maybe the heights would, ah! <laughs> maybe the heights would scare you a little bit. I don't know, comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. If you enjoy travel content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. See you next video.